Hi, I'm Brian Lane, Senior Product Manager of Imaging Software at Schneider Electric. In this video, we're going to go over the Camera Sabotage Analytic. You want to make sure you get to your web GUI page on your camera, and once you're there, you want to click on Settings, go to the Events pull down to Analytic Configuration. Once you're there, you'll see the Profile, Profile Settings, you want to make sure that you already have a profile running at this time and that your scenes are already calibrated. Now if you haven't done so, um, there's a video on how to set up the profiles and calibrate scenes that you want to watch beforehand. So once you've done that, go over here to Select Behaviors and select Camera Sabotage. Click over here on Activate Behavior. The camera sabotage behavior detects scene changes or contrast changes in the field of view. An event or alarm is triggered if the lens is obstructed by spray paint, a cloth, if it's covered with a lens cap, for example. Any unauthorized repositioning of the camera also triggers an event or an alarm. Okay. Now, what you want to make sure is that when you set up a scene for camera sabotage, that you install it as the highest posi position as you possibly can. You want to be looking down at the scene you want to make the field of view as large as you possibly can. A small field of view could result in the view being blocked by an adjacent object. And you want to avoid scenes with a dark, uniform background. You want to avoid low lighting. So really all there is to do for the camera sabotage is to select the delay before the alarm setting here. And what that is, is if you set this for three seconds and someone covers a lens for three seconds, the alarm will trigger. The alarm severity is to tell the head end how critical the alarm is. So based on this, the head end will generate an action. Let's say we set this for normal. Now that you can see there's four different selections you can make here. For instance, if the head end is set for only critical alarms, it won't receive this alarm if I have set it for normal. It will only receive critical alarms. And that's really all there is to setting up camera sabotage. So what you want to do after you're all said and done here is make sure you click on save. Make sure that you've activated your behavior and that your, your profile is actually running. Now click on the live selection. Once you're there, you'll see over here it says primary stream. Click on that. And under there, select the event stream. And then set, click on select. So, have someone go and put an object in front of the camera for three seconds in this particular case. As you'll see here, it says camera sabotage. Camera sabotage was detected. Cubicle profile was triggered. Check camera to confirm that it's still operational. Now, have somebody actually move the camera to make sure that it's working. So, you can see here, camera sabotage detected, cubicle profile triggered, check the cameras are operational. So I had somebody move the camera, and once the camera was moved, it noticed that there was a detected, uh, there was a scene change, and it triggered the camera sabotage analytic. And that's all there is to the camera sabotage analytic. Thank you.